Good morning. It's 1.13 a.m. June 16th, 2021. It's Wednesday, and uh, happy Wednesday to you. I, when I make this video, when it drops, uh, it'll probably be around 3 or 4 o'clock. And uh, uh, I'll probably just be getting back to sleep by then. But, uh, you know, the Lord wakes me up. And uh, I, I got to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Um, I, I tell you, the Lord woke me up with the, uh, Psalm 20, verse 7. And it says this. It says that some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. We will trust in the Lord our God. Some trust in chariots. Some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. You know, um, the, the Lord is so amazing, <clears throat> um, beloved, that, you know, uh, he'll take you into the future and he'll show you your death, bring you back out into the present, right? Take you back into the future and show you your death bring you back to the present and then ask you, which one do you choose? Which one do you choose? Uh, you know, I, I, I bring that up uh, uh, because that's just how magnificent the Lord is. And you say, well, Stephen, I can't really picture a God that, you know, would, would want me to be in fear. And uh, well, my friend, it's a matter of perspective. He doesn't want you to be in fear. God doesn't give you a spirit of fear. He gives you a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. I'm going to set you down. Forgive the uh, poor video quality. quality. Um, but, you know, uh, the Lord doesn't let you operate in fear. He rules it. He rules over, over fear. And his perfect love cast out all fear. And so, but, but the Lord, he, he's, he's the God of secrets. You see, he reveals mysteries. He'll reveal the future. And, and, and a lot of the past, it's, it's all connected to the future. Um, so, so the Lord, he showed me my death. There's always options. There's always options with the Lord. And, you know, there's options in life because you have a free will. You have a free will, my friend. You're born with a free will to be able to choose this day whom you will serve. God or the devil? Self or God? And, 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 you know, I, I just come on here as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ to be obedient. You know, we're getting ready to see a generation that's just ready for the coming of the Lord. Many people, they're asleep. They're asleep right now. And, and, and it says that in the Bible that the coming of the Lord, he's going to come like a thief in the night. He's going to come like that. He's going to do a short work on the earth so don't blink you just might miss it but i i pray you don't i pray you make jesus christ the lord of your life beloved because if you do there's a peace that he wants to give you that passes all understanding oh a peace that you know is with you you know many people they, they interpret peace as uh, the absence of war. Or peace as, you know, the absence of conflict. No, peace is, uh, the peace of God, it, it, it's something indescribable. It passes your understanding. It's the peace of God. Even in the midst of hell. Right? Itself. Breaking out all around you. You can know. The one who created you. You can have such an intimate relationship that, you know, uh, there's nothing more action-packed 
than living in the divine, perfect will of God for your life. Where you don't have to be afraid of what man thinks. You don't have to be afraid of of what uh, the next disease or plague or pestilence is out there around the corner. You know, you don't have to be afraid. But look, because he walks with us in the midst of the fire. And he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And if you are have been risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Right? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out of Colossians a little bit. We're gonna talk a little bit today. Uh, uh, I, I I just bless you in the name of Jesus, my friend. I, I pray that this that you, this finds you well. Um, it, the reason that uh, you know, the Lord wants us well is well we have one life. We have one life to live, and you know uh, I tell you I don't judge anybody. You may get a hold of this video and you may have been up, you know, for days on end on methamphetamine, on cocaine, on whatever. You know, I don't know how this is going to reach you. I know this. The Lord told me as, as, I, as I come on here and I'm obedient that he's going to reach. He's going to reach and he's going to call. And he's calling the generation Beloved, that that would be so full of the fire of the Holy Spirit, of the fire of God, that they would stand up and they would serve the Lord with gladness at any cost. And that's what I'm here to do. Just spur you on to greatness with Jesus. That's what it's about. It's about being great in Jesus, right? Uh, uh, learning that, you know, First John 4, 17, it says, Herein is our love made perfect, that we can have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. M beloved, that's, the, that's one of the best encouraging scriptures of all time. As he is, so am I in this world. So are you. And if you're the same way as Jesus is, well, then that makes you a, a conquering king, a, a, a conquering queen. You know, and I, I've always found it uh, interesting, you know, where, where, where they call him the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Do you know what he's talking, what they're talking about? He, is it, he's not just the king of kings in regards to the kings of the world and the president, all that. No, 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 no. The king of kings, you're a king. You're a queen in the eyes of the Lord. So he is the king of us. He's the king of our hearts. And lives. And this is why I, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the grace of God made available to me in my life, that I uh, do all that I can to live a holy life, acceptable unto God, right? You know, and I present my body as a living sacrifice. And I say, Lord, I'll provide the sacrifice. You provide the fire. And so, and so that's what he does. He wants to come alive on the inside of you, beloved, and, and give you a personality like you never thought, you, like you never dreamed of. He wants to give you such a peace that passes all understanding that you'd be able to talk about trauma in your life. Maybe I'm talking to somebody out there that suffered from PTSD. Like I have. I used to suffer from that, my friend. I used to have night tremors in the middle of the night where I couldn't sleep. You know, I would punch the wall or uh, uh, my wife 
And and it would bother me. I would I would wake up and I would think, you know, there's something wrong with me. Lord, what's wrong with me? Lord, fix me. You know he did. He fixed me. I I, I don't kick, I don't fight in the middle of my sleep anymore. You know, because he has the ability to heal your body. He has the ability to heal your mind. He has the ability to heal your emotions and to make you so rock solid on the foundation of who Jesus is that, that you, you don't look to anything else. You don't look to anything else. You know, my, my heart, my heart really bleeds, uh, for people that are trying to get a hold of this thing and they're trying to get a revelation of Christ the King of Glory on the inside of them because, you know, they, they, they will message me. You know, they, they, some of them, they're, they're struggling in doubt of areas that they'll ask me, Stephen, I, I still struggle with cigarettes. Am I going to make it? I still vape every now and then. And, and, am I going to make it? And I just, I just say, yes, you are. You're going to make it. You know, you're going to get through it. You know, you may be, like I said earlier, you may be on meth or, or cocaine or some kind of substance, my friend. Can I just be real with you and, and encourage you a little bit? You're going to make it. Hang in there. Hang in there. He's doing a perfect work in you, right? Philippians 1, 6, 6 says, being confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. Beloved, you can take that verse to the bank. You can take the verses in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation to the bank and cash them. Um, oh, you activate heaven. When, when you believe the words in this book, you activate heaven at your disposal. And the angels of God respond to your faith. They respond to your words. And and so I want to encourage somebody to, today. I tell you, I'm looking forward to uh, Friday morning, uh, 1030 a.m. speaking uh, in Punjab, Pakistan, to the people there in Pakistan. I don't know, have any idea what I'm going to say. You know, I just love it, though, because trusting the Holy Spirit is action-packed. And I, I can go, I can talk to any, any, every tongue, tribe, and nation. I can talk to any culture. You know, I, I, I just have this ability. The Lord's given me this ability. Through the life that I've lived, you know, I've experienced life. You know, I've experienced failure. I've experienced a lot of different things, of, of revelations of the Holy Spirit. You know, I met the Lord Jesus Christ in 2013, spent three and a half days with him, played Monopoly with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, my friend. I never wanted to, to leave the place. I never wanted to leave his presence. And, and to this day, I'm so addicted to Jesus Christ and hearing the voice of God that I won't I won't bow the knee of my heart or the knee, my physical knee, to, to worship a man or a denomination. I'm going to serve Jesus with my whole heart. With all of my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I'm going to love my neighbor as myself. Oh, beloved, this is to the Muslim, the Hindu, the Buddhist, the Satanist, the Freemason, the Illuminati. Jesus Christ is coming soon. This is the king's governor's president. This is to the Catholic, the Presbyterian, the Methodist, the Baptist, the Lutheran, the Episcopal, Pentecostal, Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, Jehovah's Witness. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And we have to really be the instruments and the vessels of the Holy Spirit to where we will um, be the conduit of the Holy Spirit for the life of Jesus to flow out of.
right? There's all kinds of an abundant life. Abundant life in Christ. I talked about that on my last video about John 10.10. 10. How the thief comes not but for to steal and kill and destroy. And the thief reference there is, is none other than Satan. Satan. Do you know that the word Satan uh, in the Bible is actually a legal uh, term? He, he, he functions on the level like a prosecuting attorney. He is the adversary of your very life. He wants to steal the word of God from taking root and it planting in your life. Right? He, he wants to kill you. He wants to destroy you. Because you're of a, a chosen race. Jesus Christ came, right, as the federal head of a new human race. Right? And what the first Adam failed, Jesus Christ was successful. And he's a quickening spirit. He can quicken your spirit. He can quicken your mind, will, and emotions. He can quicken you by the power of the Holy Spirit in your body. And he can heal. He can deliver. He can set free. And just by me making this video, that's exactly what he's going to do. If you have a Bible, beloved, I want you to turn to Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3 says this, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Notice the apostle, right? He, he's, he's saying, if you're risen with Christ. Do you realize that, that Christ, he couldn't have risen from the grave had he not declared you righteous? Had he not declared you holy? Had he, had he not declared you blessed and seated at the right hand of the Father? Oh, this is where you are. You need to know where you are, my friend. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. I'm right there with him. We're right there with him. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Repeat that after me. For I am dead, and my life is hid with Christ in God. You were hid with him. At the moment, the moment Jesus died, right? You were hid with Christ in God. And when he died, you died. You died. All of your selfish ambitions and the sin that you, that, that so easily besets us at times. It, 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 it was cast on the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. He that knew no sin, 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, He that knew no sin, he became sin for you and I, so that we would be made the righteousness of God in him. This blows me away, my friend, because of the divine exchange. Because of the divine exchange that took place by Jesus Christ's death on the cross, I now can take my filthy, dirty rags Right? I take the filthy, dirty rags that I have, my unrighteousness, my, the, the, the unholiness, right? the way that I sin, that at times, if I'm not looking to Jesus, it so easily besets me. My friend, it was nailed to the cross with Jesus. And my life is hid with Christ in God. If you get a hold of this revelation, it will absolutely revolutionize your life. And you'll learn 
to operate in authority. You'll learn to activate heaven. You'll learn to partner with the power of the Holy Spirit and pray in the language of the kingdom. You know, we, we speak in the tongues of men and of angels. But if we have not love, we're uh, sounding brass and tinkling cymbal. It's about love. It's about operating with the Holy Spirit, being a co-laborer with the Lord. So he wants you to be a co-laborer today. You know, I, I can tell you uh, a story way back in the day when I was struggling with methamphetamine. I had been uh, up for five, maybe seven days, no food, hardly drinking anything. Um, now, grant you, I was still using the power of the Word of God, but it didn't have quite the effect that it has like it, it does in my life today, right? I, I was operating in power, but the Lord was, was training me in the secret place, right? In how to combat the devil with the word of God. I tell you this, my friend, I, I, I pulled up to a friend's house and I went and got out of the car. And all I can tell you is, is I looked through the woods it was at night, and all I can tell you is, is that uh, I saw across the world. You know, I was there uh, in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, around Jacksonville, Yulee area. And also, when I look through the trees, I look out into the Sudan in Africa. And I see the devil. And he sees me. Well, I, I tell you what, I... It, it, it kind of alarmed me and it freaked me out a little bit. And all of a sudden, at the speed of thought, he was there. And he was strangling me. He was strangling me. And I, I tell you, when he strangled me, I, I, I couldn't fight him. I didn't have any way to fight him. He was killing me. And he took the breath out of my body and my body collapsed. Uh, and... I'm I'm there on the ground. I'm I'm I thought I was dead. And all of a sudden the Holy Spirit comes to me and says, I want you to say out loud, my life is hidden with Christ in God. Well, so I, I started to think it at first before I could even say it. And when I thought started to think it, all of a sudden breath came back into my body. And I said it, my life is hidden with Christ and God. And when I woke up, I opened my eyes and I saw the devil looking at my body. And he had two other uh, demonic spirits with him. They were looking at my body. But when I went to get up, I was invisible. And I was like, I was like an out-of-body experience. I saw... My, my body laying there on the floor, and I was saying my life is hidden with Christ and God. And uh, I, I walked out of the room some, and then I began to get my, my mind not focused on Christ, but I was focused on other things, and all of a sudden, I wasn't invisible, and they ran and choked me out. They, this happened about... Uh, two or three more times until I began to get my focus on that verse for I am dead and my life is hid with Christ and God. And you know what? I, I, I began to get the victory. I began to get the energy back in my body and I made it back uh, to my home and I, I don't believe I used ever again after that. You know, I had bouts here and there uh, uh, with with getting off, um, you know, uh, Zan. I mean, I was addicted to everything, my friend. Xanax. I mean, I mean, you named it. If you, if it could alter your state of being and mind, I would ingest it. 
And um, that's just the kind of life that I lived. You know, to, to me, life wasn't fun unless I was getting high. You know, uh, life wasn't fun and life didn't have any purpose. That was my, my purpose to live in life was to be in an altered state of mind. And I was always chasing Jesus, but I never knew it. I never knew it. I was always chasing an encounter with the Holy Spirit, but I never knew it. All right? I mean, I would go from drug experience after drug, from sexual experience after sexual. I would look for relationships to satisfy me, you know, for sex to satisfy me, for drugs to satisfy me, for music to satisfy me. Well, you know, the approval of this, the, you know, none of that satisfied me. None of that satisfies me. Uh, the only thing that satisfies me is Jesus. All right? And it says here, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then ye shall also appear with him in glory. Beloved, this is a great uh, verse and chapter. You, you should go back and read it. And then he talks about mortifying, therefore, your members. Right? I mean, uh, um dying to self, in other words, to your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil uh, concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. See, when you're in disobedience to the Lord, you don't know it, but it's actually the wrath of God that you're experiencing. And when you experience the wrath of God, beloved, you're uh, subject to being tormented by Satan. You're subject to being tormented by the demons of hell, right? Um, the demons that are on the earth. Because what happens is, is if you are participating in the things like I used to do, and I've just read about, you know, fornic fornication, uncleanness, evil concupiscence, and that's that's evil lust of the heart. You're driven by lust and greed and all these things, right? Um, you actually are opening. You don't know it, but you're opening a door in the spirit for the enemy to come in and attack you. He can attack you. In your emotions, he can attack you in your mind. He can attack you in your body, right? Oh, he can even try to attack you and join one with you in your spirit. And that's where possession comes in. But, but you know, I, I tell you right now, you know, for people that are, are struggling in possession or with possession, they know they're possessed and they don't know how to be delivered. Well, the simple teaching like this, it'll help deliver you. You can get into the Word of God, right, and read this, and Jesus will deliver you. Jesus will heal you, right? And you've got to make a, a conscious decision that you don't want to be ruled anymore. You don't want to be possessed anymore. And the way that the Holy Spirit will teach you to be delivered is not just reading the Word of God and confessing the Word of God out loud, but beginning to change things by your behavior. The only way you can change your behavior is if the Holy Spirit's released in your life. Right? You know, you a person can purpose you know, these self-help books and, you know, I'm going to will myself to live better, live cleaner, live stronger. You're going to fail. Only the Holy Spirit can give you the ability to reign in life as a king, right? As a queen. And this is what he wants to do, beloved, right? He wants to teach you to reign 
as a king and a queen. And if you confess with your mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and believe in your heart unto righteousness, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ steps on the inside of you, right? And you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire, you know, by just by faith receiving this gift of the Holy Spirit, right? And it's by uh, feeling a fresh wind, a fresh fire. And, and I release it right now in the name of Jesus. I command the Spirit of the Lord to fall over you and to baptize you in the Holy Spirit and fire, my friend, and you'll learn the language of the kingdom. Just if you'll, if you'll open your mouth, right? Don't think with your mind of what you're going to say and how you're going to pray in your native tongue, right? But you'll pray with your spirit. He will give you the ability and the Holy Spirit will come over you. The Holy Spirit will prophesy his plans for your life. He'll partner with you. Right? And you can learn the language of the kingdom. You can learn to send angels to war. You can learn to pray the divine, perfect will of God for your life. And this is what I pray for. This is why I coach people at the end of what I teach, beloved, to receive. It's about learning to receive, getting in a position to receive. And how can you do that unless you're in the word of God? And unless the word of God comes alive. You know, many people, they don't, they, 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 they try to read this book and it doesn't bring life or power to them because they don't have the discernment of the Holy Spirit. They don't have the revelation of the Holy Spirit. They don't have the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. And so that's what I release right now into your life by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. If you'll accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart and life, follow after love, desire, spiritual gifts, he'll give you gifts, all right? And so I tell you, I love you. Remember, your life, you're dead. Your life is hid with Christ and God. Beloved, if you're uh, on Facebook and you need prayer, you can reach out to me on Messenger. I'm Stephen Drake, if you're my friend. Uh, if you're not my friend, you can try to send me a friend request. I may may not request it or accept it. I get a lot of people that, you know, uh, I just don't care to, to partner with them. I love them. Um, but you can follow me on Instagram, Stephen Drake 45. Uh, subscribe, like, Subscribe, share this video if you like this video. Um, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube and a thousand subscribers on TikTok. And uh, my friend, it's all about Jesus. This is what I'm going to come on here and do. And uh, I tell you, if you're hungry to walk in victory, if you're hungry to walk in power, if you're hungry to walk as a king and a queen, then like, subscribe these, to these videos, share these videos. Let's get the word out. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Do you know him? Do you know him? I pray you do, beloved. And uh, God bless you. You've been so attentive. And I, I know, uh, you know, it's been good. I, I didn't want to even end it, but it's been over 30 minutes. And so I don't want to keep it too long, but pray for me. Would you pray for my wife, Sarah? Pray for Elijah as we pray for the body of Christ and for those that are going to be drawn and swayed of the Lord. Oh, the Lord's going to fight for us. This is what he does. The Lord's going to fight for you. But of whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're struggling with right now, I just bless you in the name of Jesus. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May his countenance shine upon you. May he lift you up on wings like eagles. 
May your problems begin to dissolve in the name of Jesus. May you just be uplifted and built up in your spirit in such a way that you'd be encouraged, that you'd be edified, that you'd be strengthened in your faith, that you'd be equipped by the power of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to go forth strong in battle. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. God bless you.